morning, guys. Kelly from Mystical Madness. I am going, I was uh, getting ready for work, and for some reason, I just kept hearing that Taurus might need a reading. I know that I've been following the Taurus readings for a year, and the energy has shifted. I don't know what's happening, but I am going to see what we have. Just a quick message from Spirit, what you need to know for October 23rd, Saturday. What does the collective of Taurus need to know, Spirit? We got a King of Cups. We got a King of Cups here for you. That's a very uh, intuitive person. Handsome, beautiful. Um, you could be a female or a male in the King of Cups. But that's a lot of loving, uh, motherly energy. Very good card to get right off the bat. I never get the King of Cups in the first position. So spit. Whoa. Okay. Now, now we're getting some messages here. Page of Pentacles. So this King of Cups could be coming in with a message about money, or this King of Cups could be you, Taurus. Uh, and the Page of Pentacles is uh, getting your money together. And, and if you notice, this is an elephant, uh, tough skin, strong person here. Okay, let's see. Spirit, please clarify the Page of Pentacles for Taurus. We got a Knight of Cups. That's um, maybe someone coming in with an offer of love. It's a knight, but it's still an offer. Maybe a small offer. Ooh, now we got a queen of cups. So we got a king and a queen of cups. We definitely have a lot of love here. Um, tells me that maybe patience was needed in this um, equation. The butterfly is someone who actually is tempered. So if you're getting this card, and that's under the King of Cups, so take it as it resonates. It could just be that you had to have temperance for impatience for this relationship. Spirit, please clarify temperance for Taurus. Six of Cups. Nostalgia from the past. Maybe someone from the past coming in, and this is falling under the, the page, the offer. So, this is somebody you could already know or um, have past lives with. Ooh, King of Wands now. King of Wands under the Knight of Cups. So, maybe this King of Wands. King of Wands, by the way, look at the crown. Very, very intuitive. Um, King of Wands is, what did I write on here? I'm, I'm just curious. When I first got these, I have to see what I wrote on here. It might be a message. Look at double glasses. <laughs> double. Oh, this is horrible. Okay. Leader, entrepreneur, honorable person, king of wands. That could be you or your person. We have, wow, we have two kings here. Three, no, two kings here already and a queen. All right, Spirit, clarify this King of Wands. This, is a, it, this could be you, Taurus, uh, with the King of Wands. Okay, we got Eight of Wands on, um, under the Queen of Cups. The Eight of Wands is a very fast-moving uh, situation. And look at the, the, the rope going through the wands there. Like, kind of looks like a, like a, Infinity or a snake? Looks like a snake. She uses pussy willows for for wands because uh, that's part of her story. That um, this is white sage tarot deck. Okay. Sorry, guys. I want to make sure I'm giving you the right message here. Spirit, please clarify this eight of wands. Please clarify the eight of wands for me. Please clarify the Eight of Wands for me, Spirit.
the tower. That and that, uh, I think that uh, might have already happened in the past because it's it's at the bottom of the deck, and it took a while to come out. <laughs> so this could have taken a while. I, I'm not sure why I'm getting that, but uh, see the tower fallen to the side and the card kind of came out to its side so there's change here uh this is probably a good change because we have a lot of love here so that could the tower could have been in the past could have already been over or the tower could be that that this is going to happen now take it you know there's always a couple situations it could be spirit please clarify the tower whoa 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 okay i got four cards and i i believe i sh i should be taking them ten of pentacles <laughs> for for the past person here ten of pentacles that's complete abundance happiness uh Infinity rainbow up there, colorful. Sometimes the rainbow could stand for the L, uh, LGBT community. Now we got a six of swords. That's a journey, going on a journey together. And this is definitely, this could be, okay, this Knight of Wands, the leader, the entrepreneur. Taurus, that could be you. Um, sixes could be significant here for sure. Okay. So this is the journey card. After a long haul here. After something definitely difficult here. With the temperance card. But that's a balance. That's equal. Equal give and take there. Uh, the six of cups. That's giving and receiving, equal give and take. Maybe this person wants to give you that now. Your person wants to give you that now, I think. To a sword, you have a decision to make. And notice that, that um, the sun and the moon up there, that's, that's like finding out what you didn't know. Now we got a page of swords. So that's another that's another um kind of like clarity card. And then a knight of swords. But that's in the past. But this but this ten of pentacles could be coming at you kind of with the sword up, or you could have your sword up. Um be, maybe, you know, since that tower moment came out. Now what do we got? We got the four of cups up. You're thinking about the past. Uh, actually, you're thinking about the past too much. And that could be why this took so long and you're not moving forward. Or you could have left something in the past that you just keep thinking about. You got to look look at that, you know, uh, those three cups being porn. Pouring out. The, the love was pouring out or there was no love here. So maybe you walked away from something and you're, but you're stuck in your head about it. I'm being guided to tell you to get out of your head about it. Uh, that's fear. That's, you're thinking, of, you're worrying about stuff that doesn't probably need to be worried about anymore because it's in the past. Now we got a king of swords. Remember, these are, this could be, we have three kings here. Three kings. Now I'm just waiting, for, okay, I'm just waiting for an emperor or an empress to come out with three different kings here. But we got the Hierophant. That's a Taurus card. That's you coming out in your reading, Taurus, the Hierophant. That's a leader. That's a very intuitive, religious or spiritual, doesn't matter. I'm not sure why there's a key there, skeleton key, um, but it looks like, you know, you're nice and peaceful up there, and that's falling under the temperance, too, 
Okay, so we, there was something because we had the hermit. So this could be, uh, hermit is a Virgo card. So, so far we got a Taurus and a Virgo here. Aries. Cancer. This is balance. This is going to be balance. Now, you get the Six of Pentacles. That's like the Justice card. That's like uh, saying that this is going to be balanced out here. Death card. Uh, that You could have went through a death transformation rebirth or death ending to the swords, the... The King of Swords uh, mentality, like, you know, get your sword down. I don't know. I don't know with the death card at the bottom. I mean, I'm going on and on with this reading. Maybe I shouldn't. No, I knew I should. Yes. Okay. <laughs> death to the Nine of Swords. Death to the mental um, infliction or... Um, Nine of Swords is like, uh, you're in your head too much. So, I, I'm thinking death to that. And I'm going to end it with a very good card that I know is meant to come out. Not only do you have the Ten of Pentacles, which is love and money, or it's not always money, but Pentacles are money. Doesn't mean, oh, somebody's wealthy. It means that you, you, you know, you... You're, you're balanced, you you know, you got your stuff together, you know, you know what I mean? And, or it could be money, but now we got the Ace of Cups, and, and we see a king and a queen here. And I'm going to be honest with you, I, just the way it took so long to get to this Ace of Cups tells me that this took a long time. Because there was a... A Ten of Swords uh, betrayal in the past. But here we go. We got the Two of Cups now. And the Magician. Okay. So, Taurus, you probably made this happen. You or your person could have been working on their money or was holding on real tight. This could be like a greed card. Um, two of Wands is needing to make a decision and we saw the decision card okay you walked away from an eight of cups you did that's why you were in the in your head in the past there we go but you already knew what was going on you're the high priestess oh my god in the world this could not get any better this reading but again acorns last forever um you know, as a kid, you pick them up off the ground. They never die. Uh, so, that they're, they're solid. So, this relationship is very solid. Uh, we have two, I don't want to say tough, but two very strong individuals who, no matter through the tower, the ten of swords, and everything, you guys stuck together. The world card is like saying you got the world at your fingertips now. Or you could have just, this could this could be uh, something that you did personally, Taurus. Maybe traveled around the world or your person did. Or could be going viral around the world. Um, I'm, I, I want to just see. I, I know what the world card is. It's the best. It's one of the best cards you can get. But I'm curious to. Alright. And of course. I can't read it. Okay. Oh. Fulfilled. Success. Goals achieved. Taurus. This is friggin amazing for you. Congratulations. Let me know what happens. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want to. Thank you. <laughs>